My name is David Brashear, and I'm the director of the Muscarelli Museum of Art. Today, I'd like to give you an overview of our ever-expanding permanent collection at the museum. Through gifts and purchases in the art market, we're able to add to the vitality of the collection on an ongoing basis. Over the past two years, we've been deliberate in our growth strategy, simultaneously looking to expand our holdings of underrepresented artists, while also growing our collection of photography. A few examples will convey the directions we're moving in and hopefully pique your interest. Well, a key focal point of ours has been to expand our holdings of works by both African-American and Native American artists, and we've made some outstanding acquisitions. One of my favorites is this one by the noted African-American artist, John Biggers. Entitled Birmingham Children of the Morning, Biggers made this limited edition print in 1964, shortly after the bombing of the church in Birmingham, which killed four young girls. It's an amazing and deeply moving image. Another important acquisition is this abstract painting by the working Atlanta-based artist, Freddie Stiles. It's a large painting and fits well within Stiles' body of work. We like this work so much that we featured it on the cover of one of our recent semi-annual newsletters. We've had it on display a number of times since we acquired it, and it's been a favorite among our patrons and visitors. Well, I also wanna highlight two of our recent acquisitions by Native American artists. Carol Romero is a working photographer, bringing to light through her work the history of the Native American experience in the United States. This photograph, entitled TV Indians from 2017, is an image that was staged by Romero. Set in the southwestern desert at dusk, Romero arranged her subjects, friends and family members who agreed to pose in traditional attire, among a series of vintage televisions. Images of how Native Americans have been depicted in popular culture on television and in the movies are displayed on the TV screens, along with other images relating to the treatment of Native Americans. It's a powerful and deep photograph. Some people spend 30 minutes in front of this work just to absorb the magnitude of the layered messaging. We also very recently added a painting to our collection by the noted artist Kay Walking Stick. Entitled Winter Sun, this large diptych by Walking Stick captures the south rim of the Grand Canyon after a snowfall. Walking Stick incorporates native symbols in her works symbols that she transfers from pottery or rugs or some other native design, and she's incorporated some into Winter Sun. We very much look forward to displaying this new painting later this spring and summer. Well, we're growing our collection of photography in important and meaningful ways. Our collection now includes works by the African-American photographers James Van Der Zee and Roy de Carava, Women like Ruth Orkin and Margaret Burke White, and architectural virtuosos Ezra Stoller, Pedro Guerrero, and Julia Schulman. A major gift from uh, Joe French, a collector, has added over 200 important works to our collection. One of my favorites among our recent acquisitions is this 1936 image by Bernice Abbott entitled Fifth Avenue Houses. It's a beautiful composition of a short row of townhouses on Lower Fifth Avenue, captured at the perfect moment of daylight with sharp contrasts of whites and darks. Well, in addition to all that I have mentioned, we continue to add other very important works. We're proud to announce our acquisition of this 1799 image by Goya, entitled The Sleep of Dreams Produces Monsters very important print that served as one of the key features of Goya's late 18th century portfolio of 80 prints entitled Los Caprichos. And then finally, funded primarily through a gift in honor of June Horseman, we recently acquired one of the last paintings created by Grandma Moses. Entitled Happy Days, Moses created this work in 1961 when she was 101 years old. There is much to see at the Muscarelli Museum of Art, 
And while our current public health situation makes museum visits very difficult, we look forward to welcoming you to our Center of Culture very soon.